any type is becoming easier to use, especially for daily users. In the latest version, we introduce a new way of dealing with types. Types are categories you can use to organize your information. Each type has properties and layouts, which can be modified from the right sidebar. When you change any of these settings, those changes will be shared across all objects of that same type. For example, let's look at tasks. Tasks might have properties such as status, due date, and assignee. If you make any changes to the properties or layout of a task, those changes will be made across all tasks. Additionally, any new task that you create would also have those same properties, status, due date, and assignee. Any new tasks are also added to the widget in the left sidebar. Another change we're making to any type is that when you create a new object of a new type, a widget will automatically be generated in the left sidebar. So, if we create a new type, such as a class, and then we create a math class, we will automatically see the widget added. You can safely remove this widget if you would like without removing your objects. Any objects can then be found via search. And later, if you would like to re-add the widget, you can do so at any point. Any new widget will automatically generate a query, which is a way of visualizing objects of a specific type. These queries will initially show all objects of that type. To customize your setup, you can add different views, such as a Kanban, or a list, and filter or sort your objects. If you would like to see and manage all of your types, you can find that in your space settings. You can find your space settings by clicking the title of your space. From there, look for object types. We hope these changes make working in AnyType even easier than before, and we are very much looking forward to hearing about how you're using AnyType.